In the beginning, there was nothing. And then God said, Let there be light! And it was good. Excuse me, Sister Gertrude, would you kindly cut the shit? What tomfoolery? Go play in some dirt, you dirty little dirt baby. There's been a lot of creatures haphazardly thrown at the cosmos against their will. All due respect, but we have orders to literally beat the hell out of you with whips till you start acting like people again. Uh, honey? I think the monkey's fucking wasted. Again. As they say, everybody gangsta till the nuns start meowing. There is a timeline not too far from this one, where Big Bird is a casualty in the single worst astronautical disaster in history. Seriously though, we would rather go to hell for throttling a gaggle of nuns than put up with another minute of your bullshit, caprese. Meanwhile, the Soviets were busy putting a big, bald, smart ape into orbit, no big deal. You gotta remember to leave a little piece of it still attached. Otherwise, you just got a chunk of dirty, dead face meat on your hands. Withstood 38 Gs of acceleration. For context, that's the force that makes even trained pilots lose consciousness times 4, or this thing times 12, or roughly the same forced experience when you realize that's not a normal speed bump, but one of those evil tiny ones that ruin your life, you know the ones. Well that's what you get for doing 25 near a hospital, Sam. Well hey, good thing I'm already here considering the ballistics test that just went down between the roof of my car and my frickin' skull. Jesus. Silkworms, spiders, carpenter bees, and harvester ants. Whoops, they exploded. Carving someone's frickin' skull open using nothing but a rock. Maybe a rock on a stick if you were lucky. The tale of Lucy's life is why this woman is now officially the third most famous woman named Jean who worked with apes. Here's a bunch of smelly animals that achieved more in their short lives than you ever will. Entire nunnery was exchanging mouths like a group of communist trading card enthusiasts. We're safe for the time being. Hey, don't eat those. They're made of lies. Now I like a good old fashioned smoking chimp as much as the next guy. Yeah, that's cool and unique. I'm one of the popular kids now. Having relations with the vacuum cleaner. I don't understand the mechanics of it, cause no source I found ever went into detail, and believe me, I wanted to know as much as you do. I don't know where you dipshits got this one from. Sesame oil should be regularly applied until the skin is fully healed. If you're like me, you already do that by default, so it shouldn't be an issue. The North Korean ones actually gave her supplies, just like, <laughs> feeling trapped, welcome to the club, pal. That's right, eat shit, Coco. <laughs> <laughs> Henceforth, you shall be called Craig. Making her cage progressively smaller to get her used to cramped spaces, which made her just not shit anymore at all, but that's a different story. Ha! Huh. Drugs. A lot of the time when I'm alone, I'll think to myself, man, if I ever go full schizo, I hope I'm one of the laughy ones, not one of the screamy ones. Chuck, loin, sirloin, what have you. Ah, yes, it is quite yellow out today. By God. Something moved somewhere. Like, all right, we gotta get this chimp laid, and fast. Probably the most famous animal to ever go into space. You know its name well. That dog is, of course, Airbud. Evacuate the spine, bifurcate the hind, reticulate the spline. So just in case any of you have any sympathy for those Nazi characters, they're technically responsible for the death of a poor innocent space monkey. Pretty condemning if you ask me. And away we go. Man, I'm getting real sick of all these evil entities infecting our minds and bodies. Huh. <laughs> You can say that again. I tell you, I need these demons like I need a hole in the head. No way. The flesh was supposedly tough and bitter, much like that of a tennis ball. The age-old adage, you can lead a monkey to space, but you can't make him land. Tyler, what the hell happened while we were gone? Where's the tree in the front yard? Oh yeah, that was me. Got bored. Just felt like vandalizing something, you know? Hey, what about my honest character? And the only downside was that the job title of designated chimp tickler ceased to exist. You bury a modern banana, all you're gonna end up with is a dirty banana. And not that one club in Miami, I mean an actual dirty banana. And now there's just two plump purple cylinders scampering around the countryside waiting to pull unsuspecting kids under ball pits, never to be seen again. The number of human beings who have sucked a piece of somebody's living eyeball through a straw is above zero. You're next, Susan! H how did you know my name? I created you. They had to make it worth some smelly primate's time to crack open a yellow one with the boys. 99% chance this one was just made up to make glue eaters feel better about themselves. Pigs in space! Man, mass psychogenic illness looks frickin' epic. Let's get in on that. Things going inside people's eyeballs. Rhinoplasty. That means nose job. A hornbill's a type of bird. I'm here too. Greetings, your thickness. No lasers, no sedatives, no paralytics, just a rusty old pin and some elbow grease the way God intended. Don't worry, you still look like a freak, just slightly less so. At least Iron Maiden was real. 
They were as real as it gets. Still are. And don't you forget it.